Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be reviewing the Sonic Prime Mr. Dr. Eggman figure from Jack Pacific. This, out of the whole wave, it was probably uh, him and Nine I was most excited for, and I didn't find him at Target uh, the first time, but I stopped by there again recently and he was just sitting there, so I, I grabbed him as fast as I could. Um, there wasn't very much competition. Seems like no one except me really grabs the tart or the um, Sonic stuff in Target. It's all Mario, which I guess is fair. People seem to like Mario, but I like Sonic. So, I mean, works for me, except for Target half the time doesn't stock it. But they have been really good with stocking. So, I mean, I've, I've been in heaven. I also got this uh, Motobug, Motobug, no, Neutron. And, um, yeah, him and neutron here yet yesterday or two days ago i forget but and now yeah i guess let's get right into this so we have the good looking packaging as usual our mr dr eggman i didn't look through them uh to see if there's any paint smears or anything uh see which one was best so i maybe should have done that but he looks good in the box anyway so i don't think he'll be too disappointed got the sonic prime logo there uh nice looking render some of sonic i forget what it's called just Nice looking Sonic there. Netflix logo. Moving hair is his big feature. Um, Mr. Dr. Eggman, New York City. Uh, more Paradox Prism on the back. Yep. You press in his zipper and his uh, wig moves. Mr. Dr. Eggman is Mr. Dr. Eggman is in his 40s. He is the clo oh I'm illiterate today, guys. Mr. Dr. Eggman is in his 40s. He is the closest in intelligence and temperament to the to Dr. Eggman Prime. So, yeah, I out of all the Eggmen, I guess, in the Chaos Council, I kind of like him the best. I don't know, the I find the teenager one and the, like, Zen, Millennial, whatever one, I find those two, like, really annoying. Um, other ones are just okay, but I do like him. So, yeah, we got the rest of the wave down here, getting her tomorrow. We got 13 points of articulation. I still haven't posted any, like at the time of recording this, I still haven't posted any of the other like five inch figure reviews. So I guess I'm doing them all at once. Uh, but anyways, nothing at bottom or top. So let's get into the figure. Inside. All right, here we have Mr. Dr. Eggman out of the box. And right away, I do have to say, um, out of all the figures in this line, so far, this is the best looking one. Um, he, he has like one consistent flesh tone. The paint apps are like perfect on him. I don't really have much to complain about with him. He's actually, like, of the three I have so far, my favorite. That could change now when I get Thorn Rose, but as of right now, this figure is spectacular. Um, taking a quick profile around, he does, like, right here have a weird dark mark and, like, a little bit of paint bleeding. Other than that, nothing else uh, to be worried about. Um, I keep saying, um, I need to stop that. I think I've mentioned that in, like, a couple other videos, but I... I need to stop that. Anyways, so yeah, I mean, as I showed you, if you press the star, his hair does move. It's a weird feature, but I like it, I guess. You can also move it by hand, so, you know, there's that too. So, he also has some very nice sculpted gloves. Well, everything on him is actually nicely sculpted. He looks like he jumped out of the show compared to, like, Nine or Sonic. Nine is pretty good sculpting too, but yeah, I just... I think he's just the better, the best figure so far. Jax did a really good job with him. So he's got, yeah, as I said, nice sculpted gloves. I do wish that they're a little less shiny. They're very shiny. His skin is all one solid color. So there's no like three different colors of flesh like Sonic has, which is nice to see. Painting is all done very nicely, as I said. Only a couple problems on the back, but I mean, who cares what's on the back? Well, don't go too crazy on the back, but, you know, it doesn't matter as much if there's a small paint blotch on the bl on the back, at least not, as like, on his face or front or something. So, you know, pretty good quality. He's not loose or anything at all. He feels, you know, good quality. So I like him a lot. I don't know what else to say, really. Oh, yeah, his boots. Um, he has the little bumpers down there. They look really nice. So, the boots overall look nice. He looks very... I don't know. He looks like some sort of space captain. Like, in the show, too. 
I don't know, he looks like he belongs in space for some reason to me. But he rules over a city, so that's pretty cool. I do like what they did with his hand with it being two fingers out. Um, I don't know why, so... And then this hand is just sort of loose, so no grabbing hand, but you can do some pretty cool posing, I guess. You can have him barking orders and commanding something forward. I really hope we get some of his uh, robots from Prime. I really like the design of his robots, especially, like, of course, the regular ones, the flamethrower ones, all of them. I've really liked all of them in the show, so I really hope we get some of those. Because I'd probably buy multiples of those. I'd probably get, you know, two of each. Two of the regular ones. Two of the... It cost, it cost me, but I'd do it because it'd look really cool on display. So, I mean, you just gotta do it, right? Those, those robots look sick. Speaking of looking sick, look at that mustache. His mustache is really nice. That is one dashing mustache not as impressive as regular eggman's but you know it's it's pretty good his goggles have some nice blue paint um on the inside okay weird camera stop go back hold on okay so as i was saying his um goggles are blue on the inside with a purple rim which looks pretty cool he looks pretty psychotic though his grin is insane i suppose he is insane isn't he a little bit he did deforest eyes an entire well area with nature things and made it a city so like a disgusting city but you got to do what you got to do to be in power right this guy's just so nice i really like him uh we should do articulation now so for articulation he does look this far to the left and this far to the right of course his hair can move all the way around I do like that his hair can is articulated. That's a very nice touch. It's always moving. You know it's a wig. Uh, these shoulder pads do limit the arms, so he can T-pose, and that's about it. He can't go all the way up. And then he can move his arm in like that, and then you can also move his arm around like so. So, and then around like so. But yeah, the if I hold on to this, this also bends and swivels at the elbow his wrists move all the way around with a little bit of a ball joint there we also have the legs that kick out this far kick back this far so better articulation than nine his legs don't pop out easily either double jointed whoa jacks you're crazy double jointed knees there and they are pinned but it's a $15 figure. So we also have some nice boot articulation uh, at the ankle. So goes up that far, down that far. And then some swivel at the bottom of the boot. Not up here. They didn't take advantage of that. So at the bottom of the boot, though, all the way around like so. Overall, this is, as I keep saying, my favorite of the Sonic Prime figures so far. He's awesome, like, honestly. I really like this uh, Mr. Dr. Eggman figure. I'm definitely going to have him, like, displayed up on the shelf. I'm not sure if I'll have him with the other Sonic. I don't know. How do they scale? Because usually the taller, like, these 2.5-inch figures scale really well with this Eggman. But I found that the Jazzwares shadow actually looks really good. This is super shadow, but... Looks really good in comparison to Eggman there, so. But he's a little taller. Uh, not a little taller. He towers over this Eggman. So I wonder if the four... Well, we'll do size comparisons here now, being... I haven't done that yet. Let's focus, though. There we go. Uh, yeah. All right, so this figure is taller than Sonic N9, so he's about a six-inch uh, six inch tall figure. Very nice. So, for some size comparisons, here he is next to the rest of the wave that I have. Sonic, which I think Sonic's a little big next to him. Nine definitely is a little big to next to him. So, I just want, like, the Eggman's, like, this Eggman is perfectly scaled with their 2.5-inch figures, right? Well, not perfectly scaled, but just about. Yeah, that's, like, a pretty good scale, right? Like, 
Eggman's a little taller, and, you know, I don't know. This isn't perfect scale. The Tomy figures actually look really good standing up next to him. Like, this Metal Sonic maybe was a bad example. No, he wasn't. Yeah, like, those two look pretty good next to each other. So, I mean, Eggman's bulky, right? So, I don't know. I just think that the scale maybe isn't the best for these two. But still looks good next to them, I guess. We also have our Jax Pacific 4-inch Sonic the Hedgehog. That actually looks good. That looks good. I wish that the... I want them to make Eggman, like this design Eggman, uh, in figure form. I know they probably won't tell if Season 3 gives this version a bigger spotlight. Because I'd definitely buy a 5-inch Eggman to go on the gaming shelf. Like, for the modern game shelf, instead of just the 4-inch one. Because he looks actually really good next to that that one. And then here is the Jack Pacific 4-inch Classic Sonic. And that's a pretty good scale as well. I, I do think he scales better with the um, New York Sonic. So, yeah. Eggmans are tough scaling for Jacks, I guess. Which, understandable. Here he is. I know we already keep comparing them. But next to the Jacks 4-inch Eggman. Which is alright, I guess. Here is next to the Jazzwares Super Shadow. Here he is next to the Tomy Metal Sonic and the Jax 2.5 inch New York Sonic. And then finally, here he is next to a couple bad nicks. We got the Moto Bug and the Neutron. I need to get a um, crab meat now because I have like. Buzz Bomber, I have Buzz Bomber, Motobug, Crab Meat, er, and Crab Meat, and Neutron. So the Eggman wrap, I can do the, I can have all the parts necessary for that one line. The like, Buzz Bomber, Motobug, Crab Meat, or er, and Crab Meat, Neutron, two I say the names of the beat, that part. I always mess it up, but I just found that funny. I just need Crab Meat. Finish that iconic line in that iconic song. Uh, one last scaling thing. Here he is um, with the Paradox Prism. Okay, hold on. There we go. Yeah, so here he is with the Paradox Prism. It looks alright. Um, maybe it could be a little bigger. It could definitely be a little bigger for like our 5-inch Sonic. But they did scale it pretty well with these 2.5-inch guys because, I mean, Sonic uses two hands, right, when he holds them. They're big gems. So I feel like that is a pretty good scale honestly, for these guys. Maybe it's a little bigger, but not that much bigger. Um, of course, for Mr. Dr. Eggman, it's, it's meh. It's an all right scale. I think that it's a little small, so. But at least it's not, you know, a super emerald or something that's completely massive, no matter what figure you put it with. So the Chaos Emeralds need to be way smaller. Jax makes them so big, they are literally just super emeralds. Even the 6-inch Collector's Edition Sonic, they're still massive next to him. Maybe not, like, Super Emerald scale, but they're still, like, bigger than a regular Chaos Emerald. No, I think they're... They might be around the same. I'm thinking, like, Unleashed right now. Yeah, I suppose... Whatever. Yeah, that's not the point. Either way, it's a decent scale next to him. Could be a little bigger, uh, but, of course, that piece, the Paradox Prism there is for the 2.5 inch scale so it's not like they're scaling it for universal use so there we go overall though i'd give this figure i don't know why i'm rating it now but i'm gonna rate it and i'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10. this is uh actually really nice i forget who i was watching but there's a guy who picked up the sonic 9 and then skipped out on mr dr eggman and thorn rose because he didn't want thorn rose and all he had to say about this one was no, but bad choice, man. This is a really good figure, and I'm going to be keeping him on my shelf for sure. I don't know what I was going to say after that, but I do what I, I do know what I'm going to say now, and that is thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.